When drawing a path with the creation tool, the first point drawn has a special status. The first point in the curve is represented by a square point that's slightly larger than all of the other points. Even when the curve is closed, it's easy to determine which is the first point. It's also the point on which the curve will loop when closed. But it's possible to open or close the curve from a given point at any time. This is the purpose of this tool. By selecting it and placing the mouse on one of the existing points, we can reopen or close the curve from that point. When we click on a point, it's defined as the new first point, and the curve is then opened. It's very important to keep in mind this notion of the first point, because we'll see that some styles, like stroke, use this reference as the starting point. This first point will also determine the direction of the curve when created. You can reverse the order in which the points are defined from the starting point at any time. While working on the active curve, you just need to click on the Reverse the Order of Points button at the top of the viewer. Now you can see that the square representing the first point is on the other side. But in some cases, like when animating the stroke for example, you may want to just define the first point without necessarily opening the curve. That's the purpose of this button with the word first on it. The only difference between these two buttons is that in the case of the first button, you'll open or close the curve by defining the first point, or as with the second button, you can just define the first point without altering the visual appearance of the curve. In this video, we went over how to open and close paths from a given point, reverse the order of points, and define the first point of a curve.